CPHI MIS exam preparation question and answer. Question number 21. A CIO has been given a training and travel budget based on staff level allowances outlined in the table below. The amounts indicated are on a per person basis. Okay. Position di director number of staff 2 training and continuing education budget $1,500 and travel $2,000 manager number of manager 4 training and continuing education budget $1,000 travel $1,500 team leader number of staff 8 training and continuing education $750 travel budget 1000 analyst slash programmer number of staff 25 training and continuing education 500 travel 7000 oh sorry 750 dollar the CIU can spend more on lower level of staff but the expenses must be within the overall budget what is the total department training and travel budget for the year a nine thousand dollar b thirty thousand seven hundred fifty dollar c sixty two thousand two hundred fifty dollar and d three hundred fifty one thousand dollar answer c sixty two thousand two hundred fifty dollar let's try to understand director budget is okay Tra training and uh, continuing education budget is 1500 and tra and travel budget is 2000 for one person there are two directors so we we need to multiply total budget is coming for 7000 same way manager budget is this amount 1000 training and education and for travel 1500 we need to multiply by 4 it will come $10,000 same year team leader budget total number of staffs 8 per person training and continuing education $750 and uh, travel expenses $1000 if you multiply it will come $14,000 Analyst for our budget total number of staff 25 per person expenses is $500 for training and education and $750 for travel okay total if will come 30 uh, $31,250 total budget grand total when we sum all these number it will come $62,250 so the right answer is answer C sixty two thousand two hundred fifty dollars question number twenty two in applying levels change model to an organization that is considering a major health information technology change what strategies might be useful in unfreezing an organization a making sure the opinions of people who oppose the new technology are ignored b avoiding contact with the intended end user of the technology C. Firing anyone who disagrees with the choice of new technology and D. Involving all level of intended users from front line workers to management in the decision making process. Answer D. Involving all level of intended users from frontline workers to management in decision, ma in decision making process to get their buy in explanation. The unfreezing stage require examining the environment and creating the condition needed for the change. By listening to end users at all different level of organization in the decision making process, it builds organizational momentum, momentum for change and helps to get people who might be hesitant on board with making changes question number 23 which of the following are likely to be included in a strategic information system plan number one high level interviews with executives clinician and administrator 
Number two, linking the project initiative with organization strategies and business goal. Number three, SWOT analysis. Number four, trend analysis. Number five, business specification. Okay, option A, one, two, three, four, and five. Option B, one, two, three, and four. C, one, two, and five, and D, one, two, three, and five. Answer B. One, two, three, and four. Okay. The development of a strategic informed system plan involves analysis at micro level. This includes. This would be high level, high level interviews with executives, clinician, and an administrator, linking the project initiative with organizations, strategy, and business goals, SWOT analysis, and four trend analysis. Okay, business specification is in the design system phase. Question number twenty-four: Effective governance requires effective communication for EHR optimization and healthcare transformation, as well as implementation. All the following have been shown to be successful forms of communication. The most effective is a rich channels such as personal interaction and audiovisual ads. Are better than email alone. B. Encouraging leaders to disseminate information to users by any means. C. Just in time training, not too soon, not too late, as well as at the elbow support. D. Involvement of clinician as well as technical expert in creating the communication plan. Answer D. Involvement of clinician as well as Technical expert in creating the communication plans. Explanation: Although most successful forum use all the above, the most effective plan is to involve subject matter experts and the impacted end users to plan and execute communication of anticipated change. Hoping for dissemination of information is not as as reliable. Option A or B. It is critical to loop in clinician and others who miss meetings. Depend on top-down communication is risky. Face-to-face -face interactive methods are better than email or other indirect indirect means. Question number twenty-five: A mid-sized community healthcare organization is planning to implement a new clinical information system. The organization does not plan to replace current laboratory and radiology systems. The goal is to have a clinical data repository for storing all patient results, including images from one source. Compliance with the which of the following data protocol standard is critical for reaching this goal? Number A. Oh, okay. A. ANSI, AC, X2, L, and DES, HL7, and DES. B. Sorry, I will read it again. Options. A. ANSI, AC, X2, L, and DES. B. HL7, and DES. C. ANSI, AC, X2, L, and DICAM, and D. At the seven and die come. Answer D. HL seven and die come. Explanation: HL seven are standards for data formatting to facilitate exchange of data among disparate systems within an across software application. Die come. Digital imaging and communication in medicine is a standard for electronic communication of medical images and uh, associated data. Question number twenty-six: The activities during the system analysis phase of the system development life cycle is all except feasibility. A. Feasibility analysis. B. Request for information. Develop project plan. D. Cost benefit analysis. Answer B. Request for information. Request for information is in the system design phase. All others are in system analysis phase. Question number twenty-seven. 
why is the low point of the change core model sometimes referred to as valley of despair a likely people a people likely to whine b people worry for no reason when productivity goes down c when productivity dips because of new technology people have hard time understanding how the technology might help them in the future d implementation productivity dips doesn't actually exist but is rather just a theoretical model that has been disproven by years of technolo technology implementation on to see when productivity dips because of new technology people have hard time understanding how the technology might help them in the future explanation the implementation productivity dip has actually been proven repeatedly in technology implementation across organizations and field depending on how new technology is discussed before implementation end user might not understand that a loss of productivity is an expected part of an organization coming back up to speed after major change this causes end users to lose confidence in technology and to worry that is not possible to actually get back to where they were before the new technology Question number twenty-eight. Many organizations refer to the day a new technology system is turned on as "go live" date. Why is this term that we are better off avoiding? A. Going live makes people think about death. B. Implementing technology occurs over time, and "go live" implies it is a single point in time. C. Customers slash patients might think we are talking about medical procedures. And D. people are unnecessarily picky about language usage language use answer b implementing technology occurs over time and go live implies it is a single point in time explanation technology related change is a process not an event by using the term go live We imply that a technology change is happening at a point in time. However, the moment a system is turned on is just a fraction of the change new technology creates. It is necessary relevant that means something different to technology people then to end users. Question number twenty nine. A MRI session for each patient is collected over for three months to understand the time taken for the activity. The process is intended to perform quality improvement, getting getting each session to be about 20 minutes. The control limit are 15 minutes and 25 minutes. The measurement made at the end of the process are the following result for 12 patients: 2.03. 16.98,18.45,20.95,15.03,22.24,40.02,19.95,19.02,20.25,19.05,19.04 and 21 0.04 A the process is under control and it should not be adjusted B a special cause should be investigated the process should be adjusted C the control limit should be adjusted the data is not sufficient for the study Answer B There are data. Okay, there are data points which fall outside the control limit that deserve investigations. Question number thirty. In the evaluation of the requirement of the graphical user interface for reporting the outcomes of patient MR test, the committee decided to buy the reporting software package. Which phase is this system development? A initiation B planning C system analysis D system design
the right answer is D system design